Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna have a real rare, real special episode because I'm gonna show you something that you have been asking for for a long time. I'll drop it. Here it is. I'm gonna do on screen a conversion of a really rare LCD to a LCD color monitor. So let's see how it goes. Let's start. This is the Apple IIc flat panel display and it is a very strange display. It was manufactured by Apple from 1984 to 1990. This seven inch monochrome display was supposed to make the Apple IIc real portable, but it was an immediate flop. The screen was very dim, very difficult to read and you need a lot of light to really see the characters. A few years ago, I performed this same conversion. Now let's do it again. Let's clean it up first. As you can see, the liquid crystal display is damaged. It looks all black. This LCD was sent directly from Europe just to do the conversion, so we gotta take care of it. As you can see, the original LCD is rusty and completely useless. Not for the purists, it would be nearly impossible to get a replacement part for this. They were custom made for Apple and I'm sure there's no way to get one right now. I'm removing all the electronics from the inside because I need to get some space for the replacement. Thank you. 
plastic cover is really scratch and grimy. I need to clean it from the inside and outside. I'm replacing this full piece for just one small connector. I'm not touching this cable, in fact, I'm gonna reuse it. I'll add some connectors to get the power and the video from the Apple IIc to the new monitor. Well, of course I'm gonna retrobite this item, so I need to remove the Apple logo. I like to keep small pieces in these small jars, they're very useful. I'm keeping all the plastic pieces because I need it to look real original. In order to keep it as original as possible, I'm still reusing this plastic cover. So I need to clean it up and polish it so it looks at least nice and clear. Believe it or not, it took me years to find the right size panel. I had to do a lot of research, measuring, investigation, and spent some money on buying LCD panels that at the end didn't fit. Finally, I found this screen LCD rear view mirror that has almost exact size screen. It took me still a few weeks to make it a perfect fit and to create a way to get the video and the power directly from the Apple IIc so there's no external power supplies.
The original monitor cable come with ground, video and power, so I'm going to use them. It has a secondary video cable and another one for a reverse camera, but I'm not using those. Before I move forward, I need to test that everything works. I don't want to put everything together and cut cables and finding any surprises. Things not always go as you planned. At least I'm getting power right now from the computer. And finally we got it. Here's the DB15 connector that I'm going to use. Only three pins will be used. I'm not going to cut or damage in any way the original cable. Just insert three pins and solder cables to them. That's more than enough. I gotta be constantly testing. I don't wanna have any surprises or tighten everything and find that something is not working. One of the things that I like most about this monitor is that it has different screen modes. Even in this 
small height monitor, some people still think that they like to see the 4.3 resolution. So this allows to still have them. Here you have it, fully functional, different mode monitor, full color. This monitor is still not exact and perfect fit for the original one. So I had to paint the edges black so the original chrome doesn't show through. Make sure that there's no debris in between the monitor and the plastic so it looks really sharp. A lot of these screen conversions are never perfect. So I gotta make sure that I align manually the screen itself so the image centers and looks good. As final thoughts, I'm thinking that this conversion is amazing. It reads a new life to this old monitor. I wouldn't recommend this conversion to any monitor, just the ones that are really damaged or unusable. This reads a new life and actually makes a monitor be used like the way it was intended. advantages is that it makes the 80 column mode pretty readable. Another great advantage is that it is powered by the Apple IIc. You don't need any external power source. Well, that's it. I hope you liked this episode. I really appreciate you being here. Please if you can, subscribe, comment, and tell your friends. Also, if you can, support me on Patreon and keep spreading the word. We want to make a better, bigger retro community. Please tell your friends, spread the word, and subscribe. Thank you very much, and see you next time.
Thank you.